only you could smell these. I know you can see how amazing they look, but oh my gosh, the smell. My whole house smells amazing. Um, what I did here is I made some baked oatmeal bars incorporating some Life Boost coffee. And I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make these. That way I can cut them up, I can put them into baggies or containers, and I can have them as a delicious energy boost in the afternoon, a post-workout snack, or of course, a delicious make-ahead breakfast. Okay, to get started on our baked oatmeal, we are going to need to gather some ingredients. Um, we're first going to mix our dry in ingredients together and then we're gonna incorporate the wet ingredients to those dry ingredients after we mix them up really well. Um, you will need to, ahead of time, brew your favorite Life Boost coffee for this recipe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use our medium roast for this. It's just a mild flavor, so I don't have to worry about it altering the taste, but I think that it would also be kind of fun to throw in a flavored Life Boost too. So if you do that, of course, let me know because I want to know how it turns out. Um, so you will need one cup of that, which I have here that I've brewed ahead of time. Um, for our dry ingredients, however, that we're going to mix first, you will need two cups of oats, one quarter cup of coconut sugar or your favorite sugar or sweetener, um, a couple of pinches of salt, and you're also going to need one teaspoon of baking powder. We're going to mix all of these things together and then we're gonna add in one cup of our Life Boost coffee, one cup of your favorite milk choice. I of course chose our unsweetened vanilla almond milk, my favorite, um, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, this next ingredient, you have a couple of options here. I'm going to add in one quarter cup of um, carbonated water here for this recipe as my binding agent. But if you would like to, you can use one whole egg or two egg whites or a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, whatever your preference is. Um, but I'm gonna use the carbonated water for this. So let's get started. All right, so our dry ingredients, let's get those mixed up. We have our two cups of oats here one quarter cup of coconut sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a couple dashes of salt here that we are just going to combine really well before we add in those wet ingredients. Um, and this is when, you know, you can add in whatever sweetener you would like. I just used the coconut sugar. I feel like it's gonna go well with this, but switch it up, whatever your preference is. And then we're gonna add in that one cup of Life Boost Medium Roast is what I have chosen. Again, your preference. One cup of your favorite milk choice. I have an unsweetened vanilla almond milk, which is my usual go-to. And then we're gonna mix in one teaspoon of pure vanilla. And then we're going to mix in one quarter cup of that carbonated water. Again, this is where you can use either one whole egg or you can use two egg whites or you can use a quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. This is your binding agent. Um, so you, there's lots of different things that you can use for this. So we're gonna mix this up really well. Your oven should be preheated to 375 degrees. It should be ready now. Um, and you're going to prepare an eight by eight baking dish or you can do um, like even a pie plate would work for this so I just lined mine with parchment paper so that when it's finished baking all I have to do is pop out that parchment paper and cut them into bars so I have this all nice and mixed up see how quick and easy that was I have my 8 by 8 baking pan here ready I'm just going to pour this right in and then we're gonna pop this into our 375 degree oven Spread this out really well. Um, this is going to bake for about 25 minutes. What I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna throw on a couple of um, chocolate chips. And of course I use those Lily's semi-sweet baking chips. I like those because no sugar is added to them. Um, and I think that, that would be a nice little blend. I think that fresh blueberries would probably be good on this too to throw into the oven beforehand. Um, you know, you could do different nuts whatever your preference is. I'm just gonna top it with a few of those baking chips. And when it's finished, I might add, you know, a drizzle of honey or maple syrup, or even, you know, put some yogurt on there. That would be good too. These will be delicious. And it's something that'll be prepped ahead of time so you'll have your breakfast ready to go for you. Who doesn't love that? All right. So I'm gonna pop these right into that oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes and I'll get back at you as soon as these are finished. 
All right, so our baked oatmeal is ready. I've allowed it to cool for a couple of minutes. I got kind of antsy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this just so that you can see how amazing these look. And I, I chose um, some almond butter actually that I'm gonna drizzle on top. But again, maple syrup, honey, whatever your preferences, preferences. You could even dash on some cinnamon, whatever topping you'd like. So I'm gonna cut these up into some bars. As they cool even more, they'll get a little bit more, um, you know, not hard, but a little easier to stay together. But these smell so good, guys. I'm really excited about this. And these are gonna be so convenient to have, not only for a quick breakfast in the morning, but to even have as like a post-workout, um, you know, a snack to fuel your body after a good workout or um, just a nice afternoon snack or pick me up. Oh, that looks so good. And again, I'm just gonna drizzle some of that almond butter over the top because I am nut butter obsessed. Of course, peanut butter would go great too, whatever your choice is. I'm just gonna put some of that on top. And again, mine's still a little warm, so it's not really stuck together too well, but you get the idea. And there you have it. So. As always, if you try this recipe, please let me know what you think and let me know if you decided on any kind of different toppings or any different ingredients to add to your baked oatmeal with Life Boost. Thanks for watching.